Welcome to The Awesome Adventures of Captain Spirit. This is a short and free game from Don't Not Entertainment, the people behind Life is Strange, amongst many other things. From what I understand, this is meant to be sort of a demo for Life is Strange 2, kind of? Uh, Life is Strange 2 actually came out within the last couple weeks as of the time of recording. This came out quite a few months ago. I know that the main character in this game is not the main character in Life is Strange 2, so I don't know how tightly it is connected to the rest of the universe for Life is Strange. But uh, yeah, nonetheless, let's play it. I've heard really good things about it. What is this planet? I don't know, we've never been here before. Maybe we're on the edge of the universe. Hey, cool, let's see if we can find some aliens. Hey, the ground is moving. The planet's gonna eat us. We have to get back to the ship right now. Then let's get the heck out of here. Oh no, the control panel's not working. We're stuck in the middle of nowhere. Hold on, let me just give you a hand. I feel my controller vibrating. Something really cool happened there that I don't think you can see. You have to literally feel it in the controller vibrating. But when it looked like, I don't know the kid's name, uh, when it looked like this kid was using superpowers to lift up that plane, the controller was vibrating kind of dramatically. It was like growing larger and larger with a vibration. And then the instant it was sort of revealed that the hand is actually on the airplane and it, they're just moving it around with their hand, the vibrations instantly stopped. That was really cool. No, it's just me. Captain Spirit, who can bend all matter to his will. I did it. I still got the power. Now I just need to make a cool costume for Captain Spirit. I gotta have a cool cape to fly. Good thing I have one. Mask or no mask? Secret identity or not? Hmm. Nah, we want everyone to know who we are. Yep, looks cool so far. Let's see. What about the armor? Agile. Oh, cool. 
Could he be dark or colorful? Beware, Mantroid. Watch out. Captain Spirit is ready for battle. Hello, Saturday morning. I can do anything I want today. So an interesting thing about hmm. the awesome adventures of Captain I could Spirit. I a training session with my power. Compared to Life is Strange 1 and 2 is that in 1, um, Chloe has superpowers, literal superpowers. In Life is Strange 2, the main character or characters, I believe, have superpowers. I haven't played it yet, but from what I've seen in the trailer, they do. But here, this kid is just has superpowers in, in their imagination. They don't really have superpowers. Oh, that is very cool. It's a little, like, dotted line connecting to the, uh, the button showing you what you can do. That looks really nice. I think this was sort of a bit of a test for the technology they were developing for Life is Strange 2. I think they maybe moved to a new engine or a new version of the engine. I think this is on Unreal 4, and I think they were working on some other engine-related things, like the ability to have a dialogue while moving is something they apparently added in this game. So I'm kind of just looking like, oh, what's different from the original Life is Strange? Like, technologically. This game's beautiful, by the way. So glad I did my Hangul homework already. Miss Stroud's pretty nice, and she likes my stories. The secret treasure is buried out there in the wild. Now, I have to locate the second part of the map. Ooh, I wonder if I can actually do this and find the treasure. Hell Volcano up there in the top left. Forest of Trolls. Sea of Darkness. Alien Fields. Green Walker Man. Space Vessel. <laughs> Lonely Desert. Evil Dog of Satan. Aw. Sorry. You're too cute to fight evil. Every superhero team needs a supervillain team. It is time for my secret tattoo. Only my team will know what it means. Man, I wanted to go to that, but Dad had to watch the playoffs. Had to. Chris, breakfast. Be right there. I'm not coming anytime soon. <laughs> yeah, just uh, I, I guess a content warning. Um, the basic idea of the story, from what I know, is. The uh, family is going through hard times because the mother died a little while ago, and the dad has become alcoholic as a result. Hence why Captain Spirit is, uh, well, sort of retreating into their fantasies, I suppose. I don't believe the dad is abusive as far as I know, but just to let you know. Wait, what did that say? It said something about powers. I missed it. You can't win this battle, Noctarius! It's already over, Power Bear! Cool. Ah. Cool. Don't let Mantroid control you! Nobody controls me! Mantroid is my leader, and he wants you to die! <laughs> Give up now! We don't have to fight! You're not the boss of me, Power Bear! 
You have amazing powers. Why don't you join our team? Join Captain Spirit? Are you serious? He's my enemy. Only because Mantroid brainwashed you. You can help the world with us. Liar. Where were you and Captain Spirit when Mantroid saved my life? Huh? Good guy? I'm sorry, Noctarius. We want to be there for everybody. You're the enemy. Now take this. I tried to negotiate. Oh, my back. How? How did you do this? I can't move. Captain Spirit, Captain Spirit. Please come to my aid. I can't defeat Noctarius on my own. I can't. Captain Spirit. Destroy him or release him. Ah, let's release him. Release him, Power Bear. Oh, yeah. Captain Spirit's got your back, loser. He decided to spare you. That's a real hero. Now go back to your master. Me and Troy will get his revenge for me. Thank you for keeping me from the dark side, Captain. This game's seriously really good looking. Chris, I mean now. I don't give a shit. Give me one second. Your time is Captain up. Spirit doesn't need weapons. But just in case. God, I wonder if they're gonna come to get me. They're gonna I've have to. I've read this one so many times. Oh, this I think is a connection to the original Life is Strange. I'm pretty sure I've seen this character. I miss Hal. He feels like he's so far away, even though he lives on the other side of town. Chris, thanks for letting me read this. Now it's my turn to give you a book to read. Your pal, Hal. I miss playing ball with my friends, before we moved. Hey spider baby, I think you caught your lunch in your web. And there's a snail moving so fast, he's in one place. <laughs> hmm, this is a perfect day to watch Frozen. Last time dad told me not to sing along so loud. Mom bought me so many cool comic books. She told me never throw them away. I won't. This is Chris to the Flying Fortress. Come in, come in. Roger, I'm here. I hope so, Sky Pirate. What do you see up there? Have you spotted Snowmancer? Not yet. It's hard because of the storm. This is perfect cover for a snowmancer sneak attack. I sharp. Keep me posted. Yes, sir. Roger that. <sighs> Thanks, Sky Pirate. Over and out. I know you're out there, snowmancer. I mean now. <sighs> Fine. I know. Do not make me come over there. This Hey, Chris, you better come to breakfast when I holler at you, or else we're gonna have a problem. But I... Don't. This isn't a hotel, buddy. I got things to do.
What'd you expect, a waffle? I'm gonna be a little shit. I just like sunny side up. Like mom used to make. <sighs> yeah. Me too. But that's not gonna happen. I know. You can't keep saying mom used to do this or that. I know more than anybody, Chris. I know. Okay? Yeah. Okay. So, Dad, what's the big plan for today? Uh, big game plan. Even though we'll probably lose again. Gotta get rid of that coach. Today I bet we win. Now that's the fucking spirit. Sorry. Don't swear, okay? I don't. Superheroes don't swear. <laughs> Looks like I'm off the team. Nah. You're cool. Like a rebel. Hey, is your, uh, your arm okay? Looks better. Anybody? Well, I guess I take back what I said. Yeah, ask you about it or uh, say anything at all? No, it's fine. I worked it out. I, I just want to make sure you're okay, buddy. So, so you must be excited for Christmas. Oh yeah, are you excited too? I don't know. Santa probably put me on his naughty list this year, huh? Nah, Santa says you still get a present. What do you want? Whatever makes you happy, Chris. That's the best gift ever. Oh, since it's Saturday, are we gonna get a Christmas tree? You said we could get a real pine. Yes, I did, and yes, we are. But I just want to watch the game before we go, okay? But you always fall asleep. <laughs> I won't today. And if I do, just wake me up and we'll go. Promise. Okay. You promise? I do. Now go take advantage of your weekend. Perfect weather outside for you to play. Whatever. You're free. Come grab me later. Okay, what would Captain Spirit do? Captain Spirit would murder your dad. No, seriously though, I hope in Life is Strange too. at some point, I hope you come across this family and you get to like use your superpowers to murder the dad and then adopt, uh, Chris? I forgot the kid's name, uh, Captain Spirit, just call him Captain Spirit. It is, like, I like Don't Nod, and I like the stories they make. I wish for this they didn't choose the trope of the drunk dad. I could pick up all the beer cans so we could recycle. Come on, come on, come on! Oh yeah, score! Let's see, what do we need? All right. My awesome things to do. What is this? 
I can make Captain Spirit's costume now. Maybe I can find what I need around. Oh, these are all things I can do? Whoa. I've never seen a beaver around here. <laughs> the bottom left. The best damn town in America. I know this is supposed to be short, but since I'm looking at everything, it's probably going to take me like two hours. Oh man, this is cold. I might have to check out the water eater. Oh, name the water heater the water eater. I can't wait to go outside. Just based on the intro, it looks so beautiful out there. But let's save that for later. For us? The beer can monster cannot be. Mm. Damn. Seriously? <sighs> <laughs> God, is there anything sadder than cleaning up after your drunk dad, though? Ugh, I hate that beer can smell. Is this? Open your goddamn eyes! That was a goddamn carry! Shut the fuck up, Dad. Chris, these are the most important numbers for you on this list. Oh yeah. Uh-huh. <laughs> cool story, Dad. Pizza, Reynolds, and Dad's cell phone. Oh, can I actually call them? Uh, pizza? Ooh, pizza. Buongiorno. Bava's Pizzeria is closed, but if you can wait, our business hours are Tuesday through Sunday, 11 a.m. to 10 p.m. If you would like to leave a message for Augusto, please do so. Pizza? Ciao. Buongiorno? You better not be making any prank calls. Hello? Hi, Mrs. Reynolds. This is Chris. Cr Chris Erickson. Well, of course I know who this is, Chris. What a nice surprise. Are you okay? Is everything all right? Yes. Well, everything's great. I just want to see if maybe Stephen could help me add more stuff to the treehouse. Like when he helped Dad build it. I want to add some booby traps. That is so sweet. I'm so glad to see you playing outside like a real boy. Well, a, anyway, a, a I'll be happy to let boy? Stephen know his services are required. He loves that treehouse. Me too. Gotta keep the bad guys away. What bad guys? Thanks, Mrs. Reynolds. What do you mean? <laughs> Chris, I told you before that's oh, not yeah. a toy. That's now how you hang dominate. Up. That's it. It's the two lines of dialogue at the same time. And that is how you shoot the ball. Anyway, what did Mrs. Reynolds mean by, like, a real boy? W what? Also, look at the reflections on the wood floorboards fire, reflecting the TV. That is super good looking. That is so good looking. This could make a pretty good helmet. Mmm. Damn, you're on fire. Okay, that's a good start. But now it's time to build the rest of my costume. Boring. The Great Northwest. Local police face more protests in shooting death. Seattle. 
Small riots and protests have continued to mount one month after the unexplained deaths of a local man and a police officer. An official statement from the police has not been released, but sources say the man appeared to have been shot by the officer while the latter's cause of death remains unknown. Seattle Police Department have been accused by civil rights groups of mishandling the incident, which led to the public protests and rioting. Yeah, that just reminds me of some stuff I've heard about Life is Strange 2. Um, I heard a couple people talking about it for just a little bit on, I think, one of the, the Waypoint podcasts. And they're talking about how it seemed surprisingly, um, like, modern and, and socially aware. And this feels in that vein. Of course, just reading about it in the newspaper doesn't really mean much. It, it, the real, really the only way to actually do anything like useful with that is if it in, was involved in the story somehow, and not just like a side detail. But perhaps a clue that that thing might, that sort of thing might become the main story in Life is Strange 2. I hope so. Hi. Hey, can you get that? Uh, hello? Good morning, sir. How are you this glorious day? Um, okay? Hey, who is that? Who keeps calling? I don't know. Uh, who is this? Thank you for asking, young man. My name is Derek, and I'm a proud no. member of the Universal Uprising no. Church. I'd love to tell you and your family about Jesus, our righteous Lord and Savior. Our church just wants you and your loved ones to share the Holy Spirit. Spirit? Um, we're just watching the game. Well, always remember that our Lord is watching out for you. By the way, is your mother or father available to speak? Well, I have to ask first. Chris, who the hell are you talking to? Nobody, Dad. Jesus is... There's my hot dog man. <laughs> I remember hot dog man from Life is Strange 1. Join the revolution. Want to play with hot dog man? Take a picture of your kid covered with mustard and send it over. Lots of hot dog man exclusive toys to win every month. Uh, huh. I, I can't I see dad selling homes. This feels like an invitation to take part in a contest by some perverts with weird fetishes. But maybe I just have a dirty mind. Get real about your future, become a realtor today. Ten week course, give you everything, blah blah blah. Whoa, is he getting us tickets again? Best dad ever. Never say that again. HeroCon. That would be a blast being a freight hopper. Choo choo. To all employees, recently our Beaver Creek field offices have received multiple complaints about unruly teenage freight hoppers in the area. They have a minor reputation around the Northwest, so please do not let them provoke you into a confrontation. <laughs> Instead, if you encounter any problem or situation involving this group, please report it immediately to your supervisor. If you have any questions, please contact me by email or during office hours. Unruly teenage freight hoppers. Ah, must be Rachel Amber and Chloe. Oh. Those are dad's pages. Dear Charles, just wanted to let you know how much we both care about you and Chris. I know life has been hard since Emily left us, but we're still a family and we intend to keep it that way. That includes making sure Chris is getting all the care he needs at this fragile age. We've always been honest with you, so please take our concern as a sign of our love, the way you loved our beautiful daughter. We also heard through a friend that you were in some kind of bar fight, but the police declined to arrest you. Thank God. Please take care of yourself. To cut to the chase, we want to help, so we hope you'll allow us to take care of Chris for the next year, or as long as you need, and consider joining a support group. Wait, was there... I think there's more to that. Grandma and Grandpa are so cool, but no way I'm ever leaving Dad. 
We are not judging you in any way, only showing that we care by offering our home and love to your wonderful son. Our letter seems impersonal, but we want you to think without pressure. Forgive us, forgive us if you feel we have overstepped our bounds. This is only about how much we love you and Chris. We're here for you both, always. Ah, I need a pin code. What is it? Soft bullet gun shoot dad. Uh, no. I wonder why dad never hangs out with Nick anymore. I wish I could have gone on a hike with mom. This has to be mom's. She liked art. Hmm, let's check this out. Cities of the pain? Ooh, that looks scary. I should read that. That was so popular. Ah, oh, I see that lingering shot on that 2005 on that trophy. Pin number? Dad never smiles like that anymore. If I could go back in time, he looks so different in his basketball outfit. No. Oh, there's there isn't even really like a limit to Ooh, yeah. how many digits. Yeah, look at the scoreboard, motherfucker. God, I hate hearing the dad in the background. Just like, oh, I'm gonna leave this room, but there's there's important lore. Goodbye, log. Dinosaur Land is open for business. Eat everybody! I am Mar T Rex, and you are my lunch. Roar! I think dad reads these. I think he just takes them from work. Dad, I found your car keys. That's where they went. I swore I had them on me, but they must have fell out of my pocket last night. Just put them in the bowl. Cool? Yeah. What if I just don't, though? What if, what if I just keep it? <laughs> I'm not sitting there. go back to my room, but first, bathroom. Oh no, I hate going to the water eater's lair. I wonder when I can start to shave. Superhero shave? I can't fight Mantro until my costume is done. What's interview? Welcome to W-H-E-R-O. Today we are honored to have an interview with the world's most awesome superhero, Captain Spirit. Hello, Beaver Creek. Captain Spirit, when do you think you will defeat Mantroy? Mantroid is a bully and a coward. He can't hide, but he can run. We heard reports that he is putting together a team of supervillains. Do you have any message for them? We will forgive them if they don't join Mantroid. He's not worth it. We have to live in peace, or you will destroy them. 
That's my job. And that's why we love you. Can you tell us who your superheroes are? The only hero I have is me. That's good to know. Can you give us a hint about how you discovered your epic powers? No. Okay, do you have any final words for your audience? Be nice and always fight for the good team. Thank you, Captain Spirit, for being our hero. And now back to W-H-E-R-O News. I can't believe Dad let me put these stickers here. Maybe he likes them too. I never get tired of Hot Dog Man. Never. They look so sad. Alone and forgotten. Is that it? The end of Hot Dog Man? Man, I love this issue. Aww. Wish I could draw like this. I... I... L look at this. Ah. I don't like the crotch mustard stuff. That's it. Ew. What the fuck? That is so weird. No diving today, Nemo. Dad's room. Maybe they won't notice if I go in there. But first, let's finish looking at our room. Ah, eat from the advent calendar. I remember having that as a kid. New chocolate for every day, leading up to Christmas. Jeez, good job, chocolate hog. Ooh, another part of the cape. I can feel the energy flow through me. I have the power. <sighs> One more piece and I'm almost done. I could take over the town with this army or the world. I hope I can draw as good as mom someday. Chris, since you're gonna be my own superhero, this book is a great start. You can be everything I am not. I can't wait to spend the rest of my life watching you save the world. A forever super mom. Ugh, air ball. I should ask dad to show me again. Viking would I be? This isn't greedy, right, Santa? Plus, Dad will love that I want basketball lessons. Dear Santa Claus, I think I've been good. Here's my list for Christmas. Hot dog adventures. Play box console. Drawing paper plus pens. Basketball lessons. Dad said he was going to fix that last month. <sighs> right? Yes! Wow, look at that. Reflection. You can actually see the kid being reflected in the TV. They're doing some really cool reflection stuff in this game. That was a fun birthday party at Pizza Arcade. I hope it'll be cool next year.
Ooh, the shark stinger is looking for victims. Look out! Here comes the evil car! Ah! That pedestrian better get out of the way. No! Ah! <laughs> How can you run over innocent people? Nobody should die like that. Mantroid and his minions will pay for this. Dad took away my firecrackers when I blew up the garbage can last year. Hmm. I wonder where he hid them. Ooh. Maybe in the room. Okay, I think that's it for here. Yes. Oh, right. It's going to be extra depressing in here, isn't it? Wallpapers coming off the walls, beer cans, lampshades all me messed up. Ooh. What's that say on the box? This end up. Light on. Oh, look at those shadows. Ooh. Did you see those shadows of me on the wall? Look at that. Oh, that is so good. Yes! I know this drawing sucks, but it's cool that Dad put it here. I'm glad Dad kept Mom's perfume. Smells just like her. I'm too old to be measured now. Right? Only the neomagnetic waves of my cleaning machine can save these pants now. Careful of booby traps. Mm. Dad never told me he had a new friend. Charles, I'm sorry about what I said the other night. I was just pissed you don't seem to listen to me when I expressed myself. My job can be very stressful, and I know it stresses you out, so that's why I want to be more involved in your world. I hate to see you get so sad when you make me so happy. I'm still waiting to meet your son, and I get the feeling you might be ashamed of me. Don't be angry. I'm hope I hope I'm wrong, but you do say things that hurt my feelings. I care for you in so many ways and just had to express myself so you understand. I think about you and me together, so I hope you know this message comes from a place of love in my heart. Your tiny dancer, Audra. Dad used to always talk about this basketball. Oh. My. God. Dad actually got me the new play box? No way! It's gonna be hard to keep that one under wraps now that we know it's there. Wow, Dad had fans when he was playing in high school. Dear Charles Erickson, I'm 12 and want to play pro basketball one day. My parents take me to all your games. You are great on the court. The last game was the best I've ever seen. I hope you're drafted for an NBA team. Thank you and see you at the next game. That's scary. So we moved because Dad couldn't pay for the house? That sucks. Missed third mortgage payment. Dad got fired? That's when he started working for the railroad. Um, you've been reprimanded more than twice for your aggressive behavior with this recent incident involving beer cans in the pool after hours. I feel our only option is to terminate your contract immediately. Mom and Dad would always let me sleep with them whenever I got scared.
Oh, I could use this to make some cool armor. Yes, this will totally protect me from Mantroid. My suit is almost ready. After I get some paint. Shoot, that's way too high for me to reach. Firecrackers, maybe? Dad was so angry at the police. April 10th, 2015. Dear Captain Lee, since you have not answered my calls or emails, I'm sending this letter as more proof that I have been more diligent about this case than you or the police department. It's your duty to keep the citizens and taxpayers safe. I hope to hear back soon, or you'll be hearing from me. I remember Dad yelling on the phone a lot. Though I appreciate what you've gone through the past few years, I'm afraid that I've exhausted all my resources in regards to this difficult investigation. If you wish to discuss the matter without another angry message, I'm always available to talk. In respect to your case, I'm only invoicing you for one month's work. Looks like a private detective. Jeez. Dad wrote a lot of letters. We're to inform you that street surveillance data is not available for Asteroid Drive and Mantle Street, nor to the general public, etc, etc. If I smoke in the fortress, I'm breaking the superhero code. Dad doesn't play Mom's records as much as before. There's probably supposed to be music here. Yeah. <laughs> so I'll explain that in just a second when Captain Spirit gets up. I love listening to Mom's old records. So there is an option in the audio settings down here. Mute licensed music which is absolutely amazing. Thank you very much, Don't Nod, for putting that in. That's like specifically made for YouTube and other video creators. I've never seen that in a game before, and it's wonderful. Unfortunately, it doesn't mean that song doesn't play. Ooh. There was a fist mark on the side of the door that I could have looked at. I guess there's no reason to look at it. Oh, man. She loved this song. I haven't listened to it since... For a long time. Long time. I'm guessing the paint might be outside, probably in like the garage. <laughs> 